Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So this episode is particularly for everybody, for all the producers out there working with outboard MIDI equipment, such as the synthesizer standing behind me, because we want to talk about the MIDI panic button and where that is in Studio One. A MIDI panic button can sometimes be very useful or even necessary when a node is still hanging inside of the internal sequencer of such a synthesizer. That can sometimes happen when you hit start and stop too frequently, for instance, and then Studio One would send out an all nodes off message to that synthesizer so that the stuck notes would stop playing. And this is not called MIDI panic in Studio One, but all notes off. And this is assigned by default to the hashtag key, but you can also assign it to a different key binding of your choice in the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to show you that first. And then I'm also going to show you how you can assign this MIDI panic button all notes off to any MIDI controller of your choice for quick access. So here we go. So we're here inside of Studio One and we're going to go straight to the keyboard shortcuts by clicking here on the Studio One menu and then keyboard shortcuts. Now, instead of searching for MIDI panic or anything like that, you have to search for all notes off, as I said. And by default, that is assigned to the hashtag key, but you can also click here into this enter key box and then uh, assign any other key of your choice. And um, yeah, it should be just a key that is easy to access for you if you're dealing with this more regularly or just leave it as the hashtag key if you find that convenient. I just want to let you know that you can change that if necessary at any point, all right? So how does this work? Well, let's assume that we have a hanging node, for example, with my tie. This will probably not happen very often with my tie, but um, yeah, just for example's sake. I'm just holding down a note here on my Atom SQ to demonstrate a hanging note. And to get this to stop now, often it doesn't help to just hit stop and start. And then you can hit this hashtag key to trigger the all notes off message, which would immediately silence all ongoing hanging notes. So that is extremely handy. But if you're working like on your outboard synthesizers and that's when you encounter this problem, it can be quite unpractical to go back all the way to your keyboard here in front of your workstation and then type that all notes off key. So it would be much more handy if you could just assign it to a MIDI button. And fortunately you can. So let me show you how you can do that. First of all, just make sure that you have your MIDI controller set up in Studio One. To do that, go to the preferences, go to external devices, click on add and then add either a new control surface if it's a MIDI controller without any keys on it or a new keyboard if it's a controller with keys underneath. Just for example's sake, I'm gonna pretend like I don't have the natively integrated Atom SQ in front of me, but just any generic MIDI keyboard with a row of encoders. So then I would click on add here and then new keyboard device because the Atom SQ is technically speaking a keyboard controller with a row of encoders at the top. The advantage is that I can also see this instrument in the MIDI input list then for instrument tracks. And I'm gonna leave the manufacturer and device name just as they are right now, manufacturer blank and device name new keyboard, because this is just for example's sake, if you have an Atom SQ, you do not need to set it up this way. This is just for the people with third party MIDI keyboards. Aside from that, all we need to do is just assign the receive from field here to the USB or MIDI input from which we are receiving this controller that we have connected. That would be all, then just hit okay. And now you can assign literally any command in Studio One to any of the available MIDI buttons on your controller. This is also the same workflow for show page, by the way, just saying that because it might be relevant for some of your live performances as well. To do that, go straight here where it says control at the top left. If you don't see that, then it might be because your Studio One window is a little bit too small. In that case, you can still go via the mixer console to external. And uh, we're just gonna double click new keyboard here from the list up here, just select new keyboard and then engage MIDI learn mode with a single click. Now all that's left to do is just tap any of the available MIDI buttons on Atom SQ or your MIDI controller of choice. This is gonna add a new control button. Now it's not a control button yet, it's an encoder because by default Studio One would recognize most if not all MIDI inputs as 
a controller, but you can right click that now and go for button press release. Uh, on off would be more for a toggle, like for something that stays on and latches. But in this case, we just want to press MIDI panic all notes off whenever it's required and then release right away. So we just assign button press release. And then you can click here to assign a command. Now you just go to all notes off again, similar to how you would assign a keyboard shortcut in Studio One. Double click, disable MIDI Learn, and now it's assigned forever. Cool. So whenever you deal with another hanging note now, like this one, quite piercing, I can just hit my brand new all notes off button, which might also come in handy during a live performance. Hopefully this is helpful to some of you who are using external synthesizers, MIDI controllers and all that good stuff. And thank you for watching.